food, culture to lifestyle, it's time for another refreshing break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Welcome back to Soda City Live. We're celebrating 37 years of the Columbia Greek Festival. I'm here with Chairwoman. This is uh, Nikki Stewart. She's going to tell us a little bit more about this annual tradition. Awesome food and culture here. Um, we're so glad to have you. Yes, ma'am. Glad to be here. We're glad to share this with the public and the Midlands. Come on by today, Saturday, Sunday, and share our food. Right now at lunchtime, we're serving the Grecian chicken the pasticho and the kefedes, which are the Greek meatballs. They're lined up right now, so you better come on down. And tonight we'll also, in addition to these, we'll have the Grecian shrimp, Athenian shrimp. We do some fish on Friday night, so people will be happy with that as well. Now that this, sounds really good. This is our 37th year, and we're so proud to share our culture, tradition. It's fun food family. Everybody come. Bring your family. It's free admission, which a lot of festivals are not free. But you can come all four days of the festival. We have free parking right across the street. And also we have the wonderful cathedral tours that we do, which you can see a lot about of our religion and it's iconography. We also have the iconographer painted all that from Greece. He was actually from Greece and he paid, he was like Michelangelo because he was on his back doing the dome. So it's really, really beautiful. And we have food outside, souvlaki, gyro, cheese steak, sausage, um, the uh, grilled lamb chops and our mezzodaki plates. Because in the meze booth, we have like appetizers too. And also we have the of course, our famous Euros. You yes. got to, everybody's got to come for John Metropole's Euros. He's proud of them. And we also have the fried chicken strips outside with the Greek fries. Everybody goes crazy with our Greek fries with our special marinade on top. That's one of my favorites, and I'm definitely going to make sure we check that out before we leave today. Now, um, you mentioned this year one of the new aspects is the tour of the cathedral. Uh, we didn't mention the name of the church that so, that puts on this event. So, Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral, our seventh, 37th year. But what we're proudest of is right after the festival, we give a pro, we give proceeds back to charities. Like at least 20, we try to. One year was 60,000, one year was 70,000, then we got to COVID and that changed everything. So we lost about two years of festival proceeds. So now we're back up. <clears throat> we'll be proud at the end of this festival to give away to charity as well. And the rest of the proceeds go to the mortgage of the new cathedral. Beautiful. Now I know you mentioned this is the 37th year, but you've actually been here oh, yeah. all 37 oh, years. Absolutely. So 37 years ago, did you all think that this event will be as big. Yeah, man. Right now, 120,000 people or more could come through all four days and four nights. Then it was about, say, 20,000 because we just had this one little portion of the block, a fourth of this block. Now that we have all the whole block, it's wonderful. And I'm tents everywhere. We used to just have about five or six little blue tents right out here in this parking lot, and that was it. But now it's huge, and we also have 26 vendors. Nobody does food but us, mm -hmm. but the 26 vendors bring their wares from Greece, like linens, tablecloths, jewelry. We have a fine jewelry store set up in here in the gym, and he brings fine jewelry from Greece. It's all real gold and silver. That's Alexander's Gifts. And we also have our own little gift shop where we sell, like, Greek festival aprons, T-shirts, a little fun things to take home as souvenirs. Absolutely. Now, I know you mentioned that you all are the only ones that have the food, yes, and you yes. showed us this wonderful display here, but there's also some dessert uh, as well. The pastries, so. the pastries are famous. We have all our traditional pastries like baklava, kurambiedes, kularakia, and we also have specialty pastries, which are like Greek torts and um, mousse cakes and things like that that is something sort of new. So we got to come from the baklava. Then we have the baklava sundae, which is the soft-serve ice cream with crumbled baklava on top. Oh, that oh sounds yummy. God, it's delicious. All right, and you have another special guest that's going to be joining us. Who is this? This is Kiki Rothman. I'll start with the Greek one. Um, obviously, the one everybody knows is the baklava. And that's sitting right there. And next to the baklava, that's a floriera. And this is tateifi. All three of these have the same nut honey mixture that a baklava has. They're just in different forms. And this one has chocolate. This one has like a shredded phyllo, but it's all the same phyllo dough. Then we have 
Kuluraka, Kuluraka. Kuluraka are everybody's favorites because they're not as sweet. And they're wonderful, like with your coffee in the morning, you take one and you can dunk it. And this is what we give the children, too. You don't want to, we don't want them bouncing off the walls. We don't want them bouncing <laughs> off the walls. They're bouncing up. And um, this is a pinica, and this is a curambieta, and those are butter cookies type cookies. This one has more of a cinnamon kind of taste to it. This is pure butter and some nuts. And everything has nuts, honey, and lemon. Everything, whether it's a pastry or a food or whatever, that's what they cook with. Their lava. Everybody loves the Erlavo, and this is like an almond cookie, and it's very, very, very good. Well, it all looks really good. I'm thinking this is a serving for one person, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. If you choose to share, how long do you all work on uh, getting these oh treats God. together? Between these and the things in the grocery store, which are the like pastizo and um, moussaka and the spanakopita, we start baking in June. And we just go all the way till the end, and we're going, oh, no, it's next week. Oh, no, yeah. we finish this. The pressure's on. The pressure's on. Also, well, Kiki, thank you so much for this. We're going to head outside to, of course, try out the world-famous Euro. So stick with us.